I had spent really uh, most of the morning going over the briefing that I was supposed to give that day to the Senate Education Committee. I was giving a briefing on the results from a summit that I'd had earlier in the summer on early childhood education. So really for me, uh, you know, it was about nine months into George being president and I was really just hitting my stride, I think, as First Lady. If I'd had the TV on, I might have seen the very first reports of the first plane hitting the tower, but I didn't. And so my Secret Service agent, the head of my detail, Ron Sprinkle, leaned over to me as I got in the car and said, a plane has just blown into the World Trade Center. And of course, we had no idea then. We didn't know what would transpire, and so we went ahead with our plan. But before we got to the Capitol, we heard about the second plane. It was so shocking. You know, no one really knew what to even think about it. I mean, we couldn't even process what it was. And when I got to the Capitol, I was met as planned by Senator Ted Kennedy. We knew, of course, when we started that walk to his office that there wouldn't be a briefing, uh, that we would postpone it. And even then, I, we were thinking with sort of some defiance, this, this is just going to be postponed. Uh, you know, it's not going to be canceled. Things aren't going to be canceled uh, because of this attack. I didn't know if he thought I would start to cry uh, because he just continued to talk, small talk, pleasantries. I wasn't about to dissolve in tears. That's just not my personality. I wanted to be able to process what I was saying, to think about it, to talk about it even. And then um, Senator Gregg and Senator Kennedy and I walked out to speak to the press. We'd already watched on a small television in the reception room of Kennedy's office, President Bush, my husband, George speaking. You know, I just said that just like George had said, our thoughts and our prayers and, you know, all of our hope and love is there in New York. And then really it was a member of the press, Lawrence McQuillan from USA Today, who said to me, Mrs. Bush, what do we say to the children? And he was really the one who gave me the idea of what I could do and what I could talk about because that was my experience always as a teacher and a librarian and children's education, children's librarian. And, and so I said then that American parents needed to reassure their children that they were safe. And what I said later in the few days that came after was that we needed to turn off the television and not let our little children see the buildings fall over and over. That to them, it, you know, it would seem like it was happening again and again and again. 